Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018 so while I'm doing the shuffling guys, again I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Virgo star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore I will try here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, please check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings so that being said going to the tarot reading first now the first card of this four card tarot spread is going to show us the very topic of, you, Virgo, of uh, your Virgo's week then the second card is going to be about the core of the situation the third card represents the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last card here it will be about the guidance the tarot is offering to you Virgos so what we do have um, as a topic this is going to be the two of pentacles and this is a, a very playful card which alone speaks that this week for you Virgos is going to be very active week as a matter of fact when we do have the two of pentacles it is almost best if one goes forward uh, living day by day in the sense of that one does not have a, a particular plan how to how to cope with the daily routine as this card itself suggests that many surprises are to happen and those surprises as a matter of fact they are going to be rather small ones which could be even if they are um, happen to be rather unpleasant at the start they could be they can easily be traversed into something very positive the two of pentacles it's it's the card showing those small changes happening here and there which one should start attending immediately as they start to emerge so one could very well fit them in their in the grand scheme of things and it is why uh, moving on with a very strict plan and a very systematic approach toward a certain goal or toward the, the, the task that one has throughout the week is rather unadvisable and one should always kind of like uh, leave a room here for a certain mitigation and, and juggling from one thing to another on a very superstitious level however this card is pointing that you should not allow anything to fall behind that being said you should kind of reach a, a balance in between your relationship and in between your career of course that balance cannot be always maintained to a full equilibrium you know you have to at one day attend more to your career but uh, if that's the case then you have to compensate at the other day and the next day toward your relationship therefore maintaining the um, ultimate balance may I say it that way instead of leaning into one specific direction as well uh, as well the two of pentacles may point to numerous opportunities coming in one's way but they are rather going to be a petite opportunities if they are signified by the two of pentacles uh, but however again one should not kind of be biased about the outcome of them but rather moves uh, step by step dealing one thing at a time instead of thinking two steps ahead <clears throat> now the next card here is the very core of the situation and that is the emperor or the very core is why the two of pentacles is happening that is because um, <clears throat> you have done a great job of um, structuring your life and um, taking on higher major responsibilities in it and it's because throughout structuring one's life now there is a, a more room for growth as when one is uh, when uh, when a person is uh, kind of like obtaining control over their um, over their tasks you know over their relationship and over their career um, it is likely that more free time is going to be um, is going to be created and that's why the two of pentacles is happening these are those exterior um, 
enterprises which are to be taken that are sitting outside of your current code of conduct of your current daily routine that you can try to utilize on so here from these couple of cards we're seeing that these minor changes will not have a, a tremendous impact upon your current environment and yet they are going to make your um, make your week running very interesting here and as well very dynamic uh, and with that specific combination uh, how can I place it with that specific combination what I said that you need to kind of try to maintain the balance here by compensating from one to another it's um, with a severe strength having the Emperor because the Emperor as you have already placed a certain structure as you have already, already um, establish a certain control upon your life that control should not fall behind um, <clears throat> therefore even though you will have a lot of new enterprises even though there will be changes all around you those small changes first thing that you have to think about is how to uh, keep on the control that you have already established upon your relationship and upon your career and only when you do have free time then attend to those uh, new, new enterprises that may offer you a certain amount of growth but as they are going to be a petite ones also the growth is going to be a, a petite one. <clears throat> So the next card, which is the challenges causing predicaments here, this is going to be the Knight of Wands for what it seems. And that further con contributes to the Two of Pentacles, but it kind of narrows it down, all right? Uh, <clears throat> so what we do have here is, is that you are going to find one uh, of those changes more interesting upon the other but in the same this is kind of like falling as a distru disruption of the equilibrium I spoke before therefore uh, the, here the challenge comes to finding the true value of one's opportunity or in other words you may miss a certain good opportunities for a favor of other more interesting things. The, the Knight of Wands shows here that you will find it difficult or rather challenging to explore everything that comes in your way, but rather you will be more narrowed and focused on a specific goal, which there is nothing wrong with that. Just so you should not feel yourself um, uh, regretful when the time comes to reveal what you have missed with all those small changes here if you haven't if you haven't put the effort behind reconnoitering and exploring every single one of it so <clears throat> you can choose how to spend uh, generally this week um, Virgos you can either um, be very busy you know and uh, research the value out of those minor changes that are happening into your career into your relationship into your social circle as well or as soon as one of them seems more interesting than the other you can kind of like ch uh, channel your um channel your attention into it as well and just fully devote yourself to that specific uh, to that specific direction and uh, in either way um, guys uh, it seems that at the end you will um, end up beneficial from it but um, these cards are pointing that if you are more, more playful and more um, adaptable to the situation aka being prone to research more possibilities you will be more beneficial so as, as, as more be, as more uh, opportunities you research rather than narrow yourself to single one the more benefits you are going to reap at the end but that has to happen without disrupting the control that you have already established upon your life no matter to what uh, toward what extent that control is because you risk to look into the other's eyes as a uh, immature as someone who does not value its blessings as someone who is irresponsible etc etc so no matter what kind of an enterprise you take on you should not jeopardize the current progress that you have established upon your relationship or upon your career as well and the last card here is going to be the guidance that you should follow or rather the guidance that Taro is offering to you uh, Virgos and this is the Hierophant card so the Hierophant card it, it, the Hierophant itself comes from the from the word hierarchy so that speaks that the hierarchy 
needs and must be maintained. And as we said, research those um, those minor changes toward what to um, toward what extent um, they can give you a benefits from. That means that you should not overlook any kind of uh, any kind of research and any kind of preparation because the hierarchy can be found in everything, not just in between people, not just in between position, but as well. Um, Moving forward with an undertaking is a hierarchy on its own. You plan, you prepare, you execute, you reap. All right. So uh, you should not miss any step of those. You should not kind of make two straights for um, two steps for the straight of one. And uh, <clears throat> when we when we're talking about the hierophant here, first and foremost, you should not think about the profits that you can uh, take from those uh, relationships or from those undertakings. But you should think of um, um, it's very difficult to explain. But you should uh, you should think of first, you know, how how productive you can be. And what I mean is that you you have to take on this enterprise if you find meaning behind it, apart from um, the material benefits. So uh, if you are productive and if you are useful of doing it, then this should be the main and driving force. The, the money, if you are doing it as well for money, they are to find to find you on their own accord. So in other words, if you are doing an acting, if you are to, to do a certain um, stage for example if you are an, if you are an actor you gotta do that stage because it's a diagnosis for you not because you're gonna get paid you are gonna get paid either way it is just you should not do it for the money because otherwise you are not gonna find much of an interest in it as we said here that these changes are to be very interesting for you and you risk to make your um, week going annoying and uh, as well despondent. So that was um, <clears throat> as far as tarot goes. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us guys is a event that is to happen that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. So let's see what we have here. Now the first card this is going to be the clover and the clover speaks for a um, petite um, opportunity or small luck. And this is what we do have here with the Two of Pentacles. Petite changes, minor changes, minor opportunities or enterprises. The second one, that is the uh, key. And the key stands for closing or opening and research as well, discovery. And then we do have the... Um, the fox. The fox stands for uh, for a worker. It stands for cunning. It stands for lies. It stands for trick uh, to, uh, as a trickster, trickery. So what I can make from those the Norman cards is that um, by a small chance here you are to discover someone who is lying to you and that will have something to do here with uh, the uh, small changes happening around you all right uh, but that should that should be by the look of it a, a very minor event and even if, and even though if you discover that someone is lying to you i don't think that this lie is going to be that big of a lie as a matter of fact this this lie is going to have a, a very minor impact upon your um upon your environment and upon um upon in generally chasing your goal and it will be something peripheral it is what i mean and it is it is likely that you will not pay much of an attention to it and i think that you already uh, kind of have your suspicions uh, toward that person and toward the statements that that person also gave you so that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading here uh, at uh, Ratko's Tarot channel. And I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a, a general reading for Virgo star signs and this was not your uh, personal reading. Therefore, I tried my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you guys to... Uh, uh, make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Right, sign, uh, right signing up now. See you next time. Bye.